So this store was here 109 years. Just about the oldest in the nation doing what you did. Oldest in the state, for sure. Yeah, it's fantastic. And we're going to help them a lot. I think we're going to help them a lot. Would you like to say something? I just appreciate President Trump coming today. Everybody here does. To stop the political violence, we must also confront the radical ideology that includes this violence. Reckless, far-left politicians continue to push the destructive message that our nation and our law enforcement are oppressive or racist. They'll throw out any word that comes to them. We have to condemn the dangerous anti-police rhetoric. It's getting more and more. It's very unfair. Uh, you have some bad apples. We all know that. And those will be taken care of through the system. And nobody's going to be easy on them, either. And you have people that choke. They're under tremendous — I said it yesterday, I said it last night — they're under tremendous pressure. And they may be there for 15 years and have a spotless record, and all of a sudden they're faced with a decision. They have a quarter of a second — quarter of a second to make a decision. And if they make a wrong decision, one way or the other, they're either dead or they're in big trouble. And people have to understand that. They choke sometimes. We do not allow judgments to be reached because of mob violence. We do not have mob violence in this country make our decisions over the fate of individuals when, when their actions are challenged. And when this shooting occurred uh, here in Kenosha, under the direction of the President, uh, we told the DOD, the Defense Department, to get ready some National Guard units in case they were needed to help here. And from several states volunteered to supply National Guard if they were needed. And the President directed me to assemble a, a group of federal law enforcement that could be dispatched here, uh, which we did, and staged them in Chicago. You have to be decisive, and you have to be tough, and you have to be strong, and you have to be willing to bring people in. So the federal government, like it was in Wisconsin, the federal government's waiting. We just wait for a call. In Oregon, we have Portland, which is just every night, 93 nights. And every day we call, do you want us? Do you want us? And last night they attacked very viciously the mayor's house. And we were ready to go in just in case it, it got any worse. But it was bad. And this man just stands here and says, no, uh, we have a democracy. It's, you don't have a democracy when that happens, actually. You have the opposite of a democracy. So I want to thank you all. Thank all of you for being here. But this is in really uh, great shape. And we're looking at a couple of other locations. Now, we can do them all at one time. We're very well equipped. Our uh, National Guard is great. And our military is beyond any military in the world. It's totally restocked and in great shape. We won't have to use military. I don't think we'd have to use military. But uh, we're ready to go with whatever power we need to use in Washington, D.C.